salted caramel French toast with some pecan nuts and bananas. <laughs> Welcome back to Rookie Cooks. For those of you that are new here, where have you been? You are very late to the party. My name is Rookie and today I'm going to be talking you guys through on how to make some delicious decadent French toast with salted caramel, banana and pecans. Absolutely delicious. So we're going to be using some butter today, I'd say around 100 grams. Some pecan nuts. You can substitute the pecans for any nuts that you prefer. I think walnuts go very well with this dish also. We've got some brioche bread here, some double cream, approximately 250 mils, two eggs, some ground cinnamon, some nutmeg, some bananas, some milk, caster sugar, 200 grams of granulated sugar, some vanilla essence, you can use extract if that's what you like, some water, and that's it. First thing that we're gonna begin on is the salted caramel sauce, just so that we can have that boiling whilst we mix up the ingredients for the French toast. In a pot, you are going to add in your sugar. So we're gonna add in our water and just put this on to boil. So whilst we bring that up to the boil, we're going to make the mixture for the French toast. So for this, we're gonna need our milk, eggs, vanilla, and our spices. Now, I absolutely love making this for breakfast or a nice brunch, if you're having a brunch with the girls, or some of your loved ones, it's absolutely fantastic. Into the bowl, we are going to add our two eggs. I'm then gonna go ahead and add in our milk. Right, the reason why I'm not adding any sugar to this mixture is just because the salted caramel is very sweet. Now, if for example you wanted to substitute the salted caramel for a different sauce, I would go ahead and add in a few tablespoons of sugar in here. Now, I'm just going to add in half a teaspoon of some ground nutmeg. I feel like nutmeg and cinnamon always adds a nice warmth to any dish that you make. And also half a teaspoon, I'm using vanilla bean paste, but like I said, you can use essence or extract. Give this a good whisk. Once your sugar is dissolved, you're gonna go ahead and add in your 100 grams of butter and let that melt in. And then once the mixture turns golden, we're gonna carry on and adding our cream and our vanilla paste. What I want to happen is I want to make sure that the sauce is done first before we move on to the French toast, just so that I can ensure that everything is warm and delicious. So now that it's turned to a golden color, we're gonna take it off the heat. I'm gonna go ahead and add in half a teaspoon of our vanilla extract, or vanilla paste as I'm using. Be careful because it does sometimes spit back at you. I'm gonna go ahead and add in my salt now as we are making salted caramel. I like to use Himalayan pink salt, but you can use any salt that you prefer. Now, I know a lot of people like their salted caramel very, very salty. I am one of those guilty parties. So I'm gonna add quite a bit in there. This looks absolutely great. We haven't even added the cream in just yet. So, we're gonna go ahead and add in our double cream. Give this a good stir. Right, so that's our sauce already. I'm just gonna put this to one side whilst we get started on our French toast. Now, what I really like about this recipe is that I'm gonna end up caramelizing the bananas in the same pot that I made the French toast in. Very easy, not a lot of mess, and hardly any washing up to do. What can be better? So you're gonna go ahead and add in your knob of butter on a medium heat because we don't want the butter to burn. So, now that the butter is melted, we're gonna take over our brioche and dip it into the mixture that we made. Now, you really want it to absorb all of those great ingredients that you combine together. So just give it a few turns. The mixture that we made, it should be enough to serve at least two people. So we're gonna go ahead and dip in our brioche slices and add those to our melted butter. The aim is that we want for it to brown on each side. I'd say around one to two minutes before we give it a turn. So now that we've turned over our French toast, we're gonna go ahead and start chopping the bananas and the pecan nuts. I'm gonna use around three bananas. I believe that that's enough for four, four pieces of French toast, but use however many you like. Right, so just chop them in half and then in half again. Very simple. Move your bananas to the side and chop up your pecan nuts. Like I said, you can use any nuts that you prefer. I really like pecan nuts and caramel. It's just one of my absolute faves. So it's time to take our French toast off the pan. 
as you can see it's lovely and brown on both sides so we're just going to put this to the side because i want to layer up the bananas and the pecan nuts you can put the nuts and bananas on the top whatever you prefer it doesn't make a difference it's all going down the same hole but i like it to look a bit pretty so with your pan still on a medium heat we're going to go ahead and add in the bananas there's no need to add any extra butter or any sugar to this. Like I said, the caramel sauce is very sweet already and the heat of the pan is going to make this caramelise just about enough. We really just want to warm through the bananas just to add a nice texture to this dish. You want to add your bananas face down. Oh, listen to that sizzle. Just for a few seconds on each side and in no time we'll be ready to serve. Bananas are all ready so it's time to serve up. So I'm just going to put on some banana in between each layer. French toast. Really gooey, really lovely. So there we have it. Salted caramel French toast with some pecan nuts and bananas. I'm just going to add an extra sprinkle on top. Like I said, I really do like my nuts. Let me know your thoughts. Thank you so much. Make sure you like, subscribe and comment. I can't wait to see all of the dishes that you guys make on my recipes. Thanks and see you next time. Oh, oh. people are hungry, man. <laughs> 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 I don't need, I just want to go to bed. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>